How's it going everyone? Daniel from Daniel Hades Movie Reviews here today and we are talking about the film Corporate Animals. Corporate Animals, directed by Patrick Bryce who gave us the very edgy creep movies and has decided to try his hand at a splash of dark humour, backed up by Sam Bain who's no stranger to writing a chuckle or two, scripting films such as Four Lions and British TV series such as Fresh Meat and Peep Show. To kick things off, we're introduced to Demi Moore's character, Lucy, an overzealous, self-claimed entrepreneurial genius taking her company on a rock-climbing, team-building exercise. Despite most of them not wanting to take part, Lucy convinces instructor Brandon, played by Ed Helms, to take them on the advanced course. Needless to say, this is where things take a drastic turn, and they all get trapped below ground in a small cave. Now we are watching some very unusual characters all having to survive in close proximity. Everyone is cracking under the pressure and people start to tell each other what they really think. And it just goes from bad to worse, as the food and water and more importantly the toilet paper starts to dwindle away and death is lurking right around the corner. So I was quite looking forward to this because I'm quite a fan of Patrick Bryce's Creep, where you follow a journalist who has offered to go and film someone's final days uh, for his son but as it turns out this person is actually a psychopath and does all sorts of weird stuff so quite low budget quite easy to make um, very quite slow to get to the point but still very good yeah very eerie and I, I really like that so I was quite interested to hear that what he was working on and when I heard he was doing a horror comedy, I thought, well, that's quite a big difference to what you're used to, and thought, fair enough. So then I heard that it had Demi Moore in it, um, and I thought, oh, I quite like her, and I haven't seen her for a long time. You know, she's quite a big 80s film star. Uh, and quite funny, like, what, what it's got to be, she's got to be the main cast. So we've been waiting quite a long time for this. And, I, yeah, it was, it was pretty good. I think it's got an unfair rap. It's only on 4.4 on IMDb. Um, and I can see why that is. I don't think it's laugh your ass off funny and there isn't a massive amount of horror. The sort of biggest points to it are the sort of claustrophobia um, parts that would be the horror element and a bit of sort of unfortunate deaths. Uh, there is a couple of little gory bits in it. I don't want to spoil it by going into what, what happens. But... It was quite enjoyable, you know, it would definitely, me and my wife always have this argument, she'll never look at a film that's less than sort of 5.5 on IMDb, and I'm like, no, we need to watch these films, there's some really good ones, and just because not everybody likes them doesn't mean that we won't. And this was 4.4, and at the end of it she was like, yeah, actually that was pretty funny, fair enough, uh, that was quite good. So I do think that we need to give these films a better chance, and 4.4 seems unfair, but maybe the more people that watch it, it'll become a bit of a cult classic, you know. Uh, it is very well written, it's very well shot, there's nothing that you can't really see what's going on. On top of the point that there is just several funny moments and people, uh, it kind of like is a snapshot of all the different types of character that you could you would find, you know, um, randomly. You think to yourself, how could these people actually work in a business together? But I suppose I look at where I work and think, yeah, there's some really nutty people, there's some really blase people, there's some really funny people and it's kind of, it's quite a diverse mix of characters in this film so you get to witness their who they really are when they're stuck in this sort of situation they sort of turn on each other they, you realise what some people are capable of Ed Helms is quite a big part of this film unfortunately not so much the film itself but giving it the comedy influence. So I don't want to spoil too much, but he is mainly on the poster because he is a recognised comedy actor and a lot of people like him. He's been in a lot of a lot of things, you know, hangover, vacation, all those sort of things, and they all do quite well. So him having a part in this film definitely boosted its potential for people seeing it. But unfortunately, a lot of the film has twists and turns to it. So if I say, and if I actually tell you any of the funny bits, I'm actually maybe spoiling something that, you know, you wouldn't 
want to hear until you watch the film. So I'm just going to go and say this is actually one I give my backing to. I think that you should definitely watch it. And some of you will think it's all right. I don't think anybody will go, oh, shit, what a waste of time. I think people will be like, yeah, it's one of those films. You don't have to follow particularly strictly because you know you the overall storyline is quite basic they are stuck in a cave there's lots of strange people in the that, that don't like each other very much some competitive people some people that are just there for the hourly rate some people that are um got ulterior alternate reasons for actually being part of that company and maybe the other members of staff is who they're interested not so much the actual job uh, so there's quite a mixed amount of people in there and that's what brings it together you you've got it's like it's like trying to manage a bag of weasels you know there's so many different characters in it that you it becomes impossible to for everybody to agree on anything and in those situations you I think you need to probably have a plan and and try and uh, work together as a team and it just shows how bad they are at that so um, that's what's funny but I don't want to tell you what happens in it uh, and how that's proven because it will spoil things. So I would just say go and watch it. You can you can stream it on demand and things now. Um, definitely worth worth watching. I would say if you get to maybe the halfway point and you're really hating it, turn it off because it is pretty much like that most of the way through. Um, it's just the the fun bit is seeing what happens at the end because they're trapped underground. You want to know. You know, do they get out? Do they not get out? And stuff like that. Uh, so that's that makes it worth watching to the end. So, so guys, thanks for tuning in as usual. And tell me what you think down in the comments. Did you think it was a good film? Should it have got higher than four point four point four on IMDb? Uh, did you like to be more in in this? We haven't seen it for a while. Should she do more comedy? Uh, should Patrick Bryce do some more comedy direction, or should he go back to doing the more serious horror? And if you do like some of the content I'm creating, hit the like and subscribe button and keep watching. So until next time, guys, keep loving horror.